alligator weed is a perennial herbaceous plant with horizontally sprawling floating stems, allowing it to form dense masses on the surface of the water. This species can be confused with water primroses, which have a very similar growth habit. Alligator weed is native to South America and was first reported in Alabama in 1897. It is believed to have been unintentionally introduced through ballast water. This plant is listed on the federal noxious weed list and is currently found throughout the southeastern U.S., causing major problems in Florida and Texas. Alligator weed can be found on land in cultivated, moist soils, but it primarily thrives in shallower areas of freshwater lakes and rivers, as well as on wetland boundaries along the shoreline. While the plant is able to produce viable seeds in its native range, part of what makes alligator weed so problematic in the U.S. is its use of vegetative reproduction. Roots are able to form at each node found along the stem, which makes it easy for a single plant fragment to float away from the parent infestation and form a new colony all its own. While alligator weed is currently confined to warmer regions, this plant may prove to be a major threat to the lower Hudson Valley as a result of a changing climate. Major ecological impacts are most clearly related to its growth habit. Its tendency to spread laterally allows it to form dense mats that take up space available for native species, as well as drastically reduce ability to enjoy recreational activities. This plant is also able to form island-like masses known as tussocks, which produce an excess of organic detritus and nutrients, impacting water quality. Its ability to grow on cultivated cropland makes it a major threat to agriculture. The hollow floating stem of this invasive plant can reach up to 15 meters long, with several nodes that allow for growth of new roots and stems. Fine hairs can also be seen at the nodes and this section of the stem is typically pinkish to pinkish green in color. Leaves are five to 11 centimeters long, simple and elliptic with smooth margins and a prominent mid vein. They are arranged in opposite pairs with each pair of leaves perpendicular to the pair on either side of it. The flower is actually a cluster of small papery white flowers similar to that of a clover and is located at the tip of a five to six centimeter stalk. As this species is easily confused with other semi-floating plants, it is best to wait until the flower is in bloom to definitively identify it. <laughs>